The boys kiss each other and they're each other's best friends. Ryo is blind. He goes to school with a blind typewriter. His classmates often make fun of him for it. His best friend, Jonah, helps him every time. One day, there was a new student in the class, Gary, but as soon as he arrived, he was pranked by the other students. When Jonah went home with Ryo, she asked Gary to come along as a friendly gesture. Gary was very happy to be their friend. After they dropped Ryo off, Jonah went in the opposite direction. Jonah doesn't go the same way as them. She's only going that way to drop Ryo off. She's always liked Ryo, but she's never dared to show her love. She could only stay with him as a good friend. Ryo used to lie on her lap and talk to her. Jonah said he must tell her if he had a crush on someone. Because of Gary, the world of to became a friendship of free. There's a math test coming up, and Gary is good at math, but Ryo is bad at it. Jonah managed to get Gary to teach him math. After that, the three of them spent a lot of time together. Gary tutored Ryo while Jonah reviewed her homework. The three of them got along very well. Occasionally, they would play hide and seek and let Ryo, who was blind, catch them. He would always catch Gary accurately. One day, Ryo suddenly asked Jonah what Gary looked like. Jonah told him that Gary had black hair and was about her height. He had white skin, curly hair and big eyes. And Gary is here right now. Ryo is a little shocked to hear that the three best friends go home together. Gary offers to take Ryo back himself. As Jonah's house is not in this direction. Upon hearing this, Ryo couldn't help but smile a little. Jonah had something to do. So she left with Ryo's permission. From that day on, Ryo began to take Gary's arm. A strange feeling grew. In history class, the teacher asked the students to work in groups. They could only work with people of the same gender. So Ryo was in a group with Gary, and Jonah was in a group with someone else. The two of them got closer. After class, Jonah has to go to the library with her teammates. Ryo is happy to finally be alone with Gary. He still doesn't know that Jonah likes him. Gary tentatively tells Ryo that Jonah seems to like him, and that the feelings are similar to love. He asks Ryo how he feels about Jonah. Ryo says his feelings for Jonah are just good friends. Gary asks him if he loves Jonah, and Ryo denies it. They came to Ryo's house to do their homework. Ryo changes his clothes directly in front of Gary, who becomes short of breath. Then he felt the heat in the house, and took off his sweatshirt and put it aside. Gary needed to brush his teeth first. He forgot his toothpaste when he went in. Ryo thought Gary had gone into the bathroom. He couldn't help but pick up Gary's sweatshirt and started to smell him. Gary came out to look for toothpaste and saw him, but he didn't say anything. The next day, Ryo asks Jonah if he's good looking. Gary's arrival interrupted the conversation. He was still wearing the same sweatshirt. Ryo naturally takes his hand. Jonah was a bit lost, but she didn't show it since they both haven't finished their history homework. They have to stay together. Gary holds Ryo's hand to help him learn. He purposely whispered in Ryo's ear that he'd left his sweatshirt at his house. Ryo tells him to come get it after school, but Gary says he has to go to the dentist. Ryo says he'll bring him the sweatshirt tomorrow. After school, Ryo told Jonah that he had a crush on Gary. Jonah felt a little sad inside, but Ryo couldn't see it. She said she had to go to grandma's birthday and that she'd see him later. And then she left in a panic. Ryo has to find his own way home. Soon the doorbell rings and Ryo thinks it's Jonah. He hastily apologizes and says he knew she'd be jealous. It must have been hard for her to accept that he liked Gary. Gary doesn't make a sound, just kisses him and leaves. Ryo is left with mixed feelings. Soon the door opens again. Jonah walks in and apologizes for being late. Ryo realizes something. He gets up and looks for the sweatshirt but doesn't find it. He asks Jonah if she's seen the sweatshirt and Jonah says there's nothing here. Ryo confirms his belief that it was Gary who kissed him. He can't help but smile. And that's the end of the movie. The friendship between the three of them leads to a beautiful relationship.